that's another Bob's Burgers reaction. We're on season seven, episode 11. A few Gertman. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I have absolutely no idea what this could possibly be about. I don't know what Gertman. Is that what it says? Yeah, Gertman. At first, I thought it said Gutman, and I was even more confused, <laughs> to be honest. But I don't know what Gertman even, Gertman even means. I've got absolutely nothing to go off, so let's just go. Jean, breakfast, yum. Sorry, Hell yes. So long, what the I fuck? Why are you dressed up? Was worth the wait. Ooh, yeah, why are you yes. dressed up? Why like, are you like... wearing your fancy clothes? Why aren't you wearing yours? Okay. These are my fancy clothes. <laughs> oh, okay then. For the school-wide mock trial. The He's what? The top prosecutor. Oh, okay right, then. Right. I'm a sharp-dressed, silver-tongued devil. Yeah, Hell yes. Up against Louise, the sad wait, what? Okay. It's Belcher against Belcher. Hell yes. We win either way. <laughs> it is impressive. I mean, I guess so. But it is weird it really that they... Is also totally <laughs> it is weird to have your kids up against each other, whatever the fuck this trial figure is. I wish I could sit on the jury and zone out while we do a mock trial <laughs> of Snow White. I mean, Whoa, Snow White. You think the evil queen gave Snow White? No fucking way, it's Snow White. It's just so babyish. I, mean, oh, no, I know, I could actually understand that being a fucking stupid trial. Oh, double homicide. Twice I mean, I could understand them not doing homicide, though. Okay, here we go. We will first hear from the prosecution. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, here are the facts. The evil queen was jealous of my client, the gorgeous, but a little sun wouldn't kill her Snow White. I mean, yeah, if you know the story of just fucking of Snow White, then it would be pretty obvious that, you know, the queen or whatever is guilty. What am I supposed to do? I mean, her first name is evil. <laughs> yes. Ugh, fine. Yeah, why the fuck did they make you Louise out of all people be the one to be uh, the, the yeah, more, why? lawyer or whatever? I'm my mom's birthday party and I need a caterer. Oh, okay. okay. So, us? Bob's Burgers? Oh, God, no. <laughs> what? Why? It's just that my mom's picky. If it doesn't have a shrimp on it, she won't eat it. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe I get your mom to try the food Sorry, beforehand or something. I, I don't know. something in it that I don't love. This. Oh. Oh, God. C can we make you another one? Yeah, I'm not sure I could eat another burger. <laughs> well, I mean, he's already e nearly eating the entire thing. Um, let us comp your meal. No, no. Uh, are you sure? Yes, we insist. Well, in that case, thank you. Uh, have a great day. Huh. This is a brown hair. Yeah, That's who's weird. makes me wonder how much. Wait, is it Mort? Because he's the only one there with brown hair. If there are no further questions, it's time for the jury to deliver. I mean, it's real. Right, so no, what the fuck is Louise meant to do? Ask for a mistrial. It's impossible for my client, the evil queen, to get a fair trial here because everyone knows the story of Snow White. I mean, fair no enough. No one has ever asked for a mistrial. So you'll grant me one? Nope. The jury seems impartial and capable. <laughs> okay. Glamour. Jury. How do you find the defendant? The impartial, capable, mysterious, and glamorous jury rules in favor of the prosecution. Okay, the well, queen guilty. No shit, though. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I, I did not. What is going yeah, on? Yeah, what the fuck? Mr. Franz stole my yogurt. Look, this is his trash can. Gas, right? I did not eat that yogurt. It's a crime of. <laughs> oh my god, are they gonna actually do an actual trial with Mr. Franz being the? You know, the one that they're trying to defend. Well, the way he's just trying to defend. I'm not a thief. I'd be happy to take this to student court. Okay, well, jeez. preside over this case. Maybe the fairy tale trials are too predictable. I mean, yeah, Let's obviously. With the real case. Well, if everyone's on board, I guess we can try this <laughs> one tomorrow. I'm actually quite surprised that they're fine with doing this. What happens when you find Fran guilty? Does this school have the death penalty? Oh my oh, God, well, Jesus if Christ! If finds him guilty, he has to wear a sign all day that says, "I'm a disgusting yogurt thief." Okay, jeez. Ah, <laughs> yes. Oh God, they have Louise defend him, otherwise she'll on purpose to make him lose. Since you were finally making some progress as a defender, you get to defend Mr. Fon. Oh God, of course. No, no, no. <laughs> I love how they're both fucking annoyed about and upset about that, which I mean, fair enough, I would, Mr. Frog is kind of a dick. So I got to understand Louise being like, yeah, no, I did not want to. All rise for the somewhat respectable Judge Conklin. I guess I, <laughs> I love how they say somewhat Today, respectable. you, the jury, will hear the case of Mr. Ambrose versus Mr. Frond, one of whom will wear the hilarious sign we discussed yesterday. <laughs> the signs look really good. I mean, sure. They look really good. They look fine. And I feel like that's even a stretch. Mr. Ambrose's yogurt container was found in Mr. Franz's trash can. I mean, I guess, Sorry. but someone could have easily just fucking put Applause. it in there, though, to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, maybe he didn't do it. <laughs> yes, amazing defense. That's all you got. Oh, we also have a right to a speedy trial, so let's get this going, huh? Hey, that guy looks familiar. Bob, that's- Oh, wait, that's the guy. The, the hair. Hey, Jimmy. 
Did that guy find a hair in his food? What? Don't yell that across the street. <laughs> I'm over here. Come on. That guy was in my place yesterday, Jimmy. Let me guess. He found a hair on his last bite. And so you... he's faking it. That guy is a scammer. What? I mean, considering the hair was brown, it makes sense though, because who's Mort would have been the only person there that it could have possibly been. And how the fuck would Mort's hair get into the food? That's where you ate the yogurt, but it wasn't yogurt, was it? No. Aha! Uh -huh. You admit you ate it. Oh no, my god. I'm saying it wasn't my gurt, and I didn't eat it. Yes, you did. No further questions. Yeah, like. Is that we're gonna bring up the fact that it could easily be someone else? When exactly did you eat the yogurt? I didn't <laughs> eat the, the fact that yogurt. Louise is even like, oh, did, did you eat uh, the yogurt? <clears throat> Louise, I hate to be that guy, but you have an obligation to provide this man with a defense. Working with what I got, Your Honor. Let's get this. I mean, yeah, to be fair, though, there's really nothing. What do you know about Mr. Ambrose and Frond? Where to begin? Mr. Fron gets a call from his mother at least once a day. <laughs> How do you know Fron. that? And Mr. Ambrose uses the computer room after hours to work on a okay. sequel to Mrs. Dow. The fact that she knows all this, sh this shit is kind of weird and creepy. Do you have any gert related gossip? Any hot gert goss? Well, Mr. Ambrose is always leaving his yogurt spoons lying around. Wait, what do you mean he leaves them lying around? These yogurts have a plastic spoon in the lid. Okay. You know, on the go. Yeah, or a yogurt thief on the go, <laughs> like Mr. Frond. Look at the yogurt container. Yeah. The spoon is still yeah. in the lid. Okay. Oh, I eat it. Hmm. Probably with your tongue. Like okay. Oh, I mean, to be fair, though, he could have just grabbed his own spoon. So this is the internet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. Back up. <laughs> there he is. Not know that. Go. What the fuck? Buddy. Austin Powers, Mario, or Luigi? Hey, Borat. Let's get that. What one. the this fuck? This isn't supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah, no. It's meant to be them figure out a fucking scam artist. Make him work and then not pay. Ooh, he's available tomorrow. Wait, what? Are we just gonna book him? I mean, he's yeah, the... I just he realized. Recognize my mother, which is why we're gonna book. Oh him my god, it's birthday. okay. So Mort, are you sure this won't ruin her party? Are you kidding? I mean, it probably will, but I don't think they'll care that much. That spoon thing went nowhere. So time to cop a plea, okay? But I didn't do it. Yeah, what honestly, you, I actually believe him at this point because I doubt he would be defending himself this time. hard. Really? Like, he uh, would have to be a massive times, prick yeah, really, to def Mr. go this hard well, and defending himself did, when he well, actually didn't do it. You of anything, I'm sorry, because this feels really horrible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, just save the drama for the phone call from your mom, okay? We're going to go for the plea deal. Okay. Come on, it's our only chance to... Wait, what? If you're not going to defend me, we should just get this over with. I mean... Okay. Okay, she could actually be like, yeah, I feel bad. And then come up and actually try and defend him. Your Honor, my client would like to say that he's innocent and we're going to keep fighting to prove it okay. as long as it takes. I thought you wanted to get this over with. Well, yeah, not anymore. He did, but everyone deserves a fair trial. Even a broken down... <laughs> Even a f fucking this prick. Which, again, he is a prick. I just needed another day to figure out how to prove Mr. Fry. Okay, yeah. Innocent. Honestly, don't know how them into do it. Him fry? I mean, I do. <laughs> I, I really did. But now I'm pretty sure he didn't do it. Pretty sure it doesn't win trial, Tuts. Sounds like this trial's gonna drag on forever. I mean, yeah, considering that the only evidence, like, that Mr. F that Mr. Fron did it is just because it was in his bin. Today? The defense will prove that Mr. Frond did not steal the yogurt. And what's more, I will show you who did steal the yogurt. Yeah, I want to know who the fuck actually did steal it. Oh, Imagine please. if this we guy Mr. did, did it without realizing that the fucking library and guy did it without even realizing. Listen to the first part. That's hearsay, I think. It's all hearsay. You hear it, then you say it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you, I don't think this is the type of joke. Look at the map. Mr. Fron's office is between the teacher's lounge and the cafeteria. Yes. It would have been easy for someone to eat that yogurt as they walked down the hall. I mean, yeah, she's not wrong. Who would have gone from there to the cafeteria? Oh, I don't know. Wait, yes, I do. Oh, my God, he's right there. Oh, my yes, fucking Mr. God. Mr. Fron was in the teacher's lounge on Monday <laughs> yes. afternoon. Yes. But witnesses placed two other people there on that same afternoon. Which is? Call back to the stand. Miss Selbo. Okay. So, Miss Selbo. Oh my god, it's the fucking the teacher's lounge just... gossip teacher. I don't know. I don't actually know what she's a teacher of. Oh, wait, she's an office lady or something, isn't she? I don't know. I'm lactose intolerant. You are okay. big time. Get me a gallon of milk and I'll prove it. I will allow it. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Thanks for letting us crash your birthday party to get revenge on a dirty food <laughs> scam. You but, I was about to say, which one is Walt's mum? Because we saw her in that. Halloween episode last year. Mr. Bronco, please tell the court what you were doing in the teacher's lounge after school Monday. Same thing I do in there every day. Empty the trash, pretend to vacuum, you know, Bronco stuff. <laughs> the probably hides dirt. 
Yeah, yeah. I just make the sound. You just... <laughs> okay, how the fuck is no one noticing? Huh? Picked up some odds and ends, a broken scrunchie. I, mean, I don't think it was this guy. I honestly wouldn't what? be surprised if it was a student. A spoon? Yes. Am I saying that right? Spoon. Let me get this straight. You're confessing that you found a spoon Monday after school? Where did you find it, Bronca? In your mouth? You find spoons all over the place. I mean, try to okay. Crush a spoon down the toilet three times last year. My bad. <laughs> of course it's fucking sick. Get me out there finding your spoons. I mean, okay, jeez. Who leaves a spoon on a drinking fountain? Wait, where did you find the spoon? Down the drinking fountain. Thank you. I believe you didn't do it. Oh, thank God. But I know who did. Okay, who then? I'm guessing it would have to be a student, you'd think. Like, sneaking in there, but surely someone would have noticed that. Mr. Fawn didn't eat Mr. Ambrose's yogurt. Judge Conklin did. What? <gasps> oh my... But see, this entire time, he knew that it was... That he was doing it. You know, I got suspicious when you mentioned the carpet in the teacher's lounge probably hides dirt. It made it sound like you'd been in the... I mean, yeah, lounge. that's actually pretty there was fair. something else you said when you first walked in on Monday. You said you had an accident and it was water. Oh my god, the fucking pee. The stain. No I, I didn't even think about that. Oh. I say Judge Conklin went into the teacher's lounge and helped himself to the yogurt. Ate it as he walked down the hall. Threw away the container in Mr. Fawn's trash can. Then went to the drinking fountain to wash it I mean, down. this is actually a fair like, idea, but I have a feeling that's somehow not him. It's the wet sleeve. Wow. You are... 100% correct. What? Okay, well, he's just straight up admitting it. After all this, honestly, Louise did a good job of piecing all this shit together. How much was that yogurt? Two dollars and fifty-nine cents. Okay, minutes. all this fucking drama for two dollars. Court is adjourned. I guess I better put this I mean, Louise is actually pretty, later. is actually pretty Nicely. smart, though, for being Bye, able to come everyone. up, Hope piece all this shit together. Lawyers. Kids, please don't tell your parents how we've spent the last two days. <laughs> okay. I think he's about to wrap it up. Is he meant to be Borat? I've never seen those movies. I want to. Ow. Hi there. Remember us? You said you found a hair in my bologna calzone and in a burger at Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Teddy. <laughs> yeah, why is Teddy even there? You are actually prepaid for the show when you put your credit card in. Yeah, on so website. no cancellation. Yeah, you you pretty much fucked yourself over. Thanks for everything, and see you guys around. Not so fast. Finish your performance. <laughs> what? You heard him. We pay for it. We want it all. We do. I saw it. Not okay, then. But you did the right thing and helped me. I know. It was very big of me. <laughs> right. If you'll excuse me, now that I'm a free man, I have a reser- A free man? You, you would have only had to pay like two dollars. I'm sure you would have been fine. Yep. But thank you again. I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's how I feel. I mean, so there you go. fair enough. Sorry I didn't believe you in the first place. What? Nothing. <laughs> And now I present my history project. Oh, hell yes. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be something insane? And like stupid. There was a graphic novel in the works. Okay. And, well, what can I say? Some projects just uh, don't get off the ground. Okay. So, without further ado, I present the Acropolis. Or he just didn't do it. Okay. Amazing. That looks like it was literally built in five seconds. To accuse me of giving up when things get hard. She I mean, you saying, definitely do, yet. though, to be honest. Well, you do give up. Yes. All the time. I mean, you're a starter, not a finisher. <laughs> Which the world needs. Without starters, how would we, um. Finish thing? Okay, I mean, I guess so. I need a little chocolate pick me up. Fortunately, I think I might have some candy in my backpack. What? That's impossible. No, he probably does. Wait, really? Why? Uh oh. Okay. Last one. All right, little chunky blaster. What the fuck? Okay, that is. A weed chocolate. I was gonna say chocolate bar, but it's barely even a chocolate bar. Won't you join me as I stop at the store to purchase another box of this timeless classic? Is it gone? It's so charming when you eat chocolate. <laughs> what the new look, new great taste? They bought sunglasses. The fact that they obviously tried to make you look cool or something. No, no, no. I'm, I'm Why are you eating it then if it's so bad? So, also, you 100% going to have great? to pay for that. So what's the verdict? Hey, 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 kid, you gotta pay for that. Why would they do this to me? Why would they change <laughs> Blast off? I don't know. Companies do this all the time, though. And it is annoying when they change the recipe and make it taste shit. Oh! Hey, guys. How you doing? Mind if I use your dishwasher? Okay, Why? why? Uh... Yes, because we're a restaurant. <laughs> yes. Right. I mean, if you're going to use a dishwasher, why not wash dishes? 
Why not just fucking wash them in the house? Golf balls. Cause they're dirty. I got them at the bottom of the lake at the municipal golf. Uh, what are you gonna I sell them? them? It's sell bad. Them the golfers. That's actually pretty. I would actually do that if I could. <laughs> You're it. not gonna tell anyone, right? <laughs> Take just it keep easy. it to yourself. Right? Okay, I don't think Bob's going to tell anyone. Yeah, they're just golf I balls. Know, <laughs> about, the next thing you tell it, everybody that comes in here Teddy, about what I got no going on. To... Yeah, uh, Teddy, I think you're gonna be fine. And click live chat. Sure. What can we help you with today? Hmm. Chain chunky blast off back, you idiot. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's gonna help. Margaret is typing. Currently, there are no plans to change the formula. Yeah, of I mean, to be honest, I didn't know what you expected. Have a delicious day. Well, I'm shocked that didn't work. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you expected. Shot. Time to give up. That's yeah, that's literally what they're talking about at the start. Give up. The factory tour. Factory tour? Surely that would cost a decent amount of money to go on the fucking factory tour. I'll take you on the tour. Really? Wait, what? Yeah, I'm proud of Gene for taking a stand. Oh, but yeah, probably for the show. first time. But they're probably not going to listen to a kid, Lynn. Of course, I know, but we should support Gene's cause. I mean, I guess so, but it's literally just chocolate. Like, it's not that deep. As you can see, we still make our candy the same way that our founder Ferdinand What the fuck did, did so why did they change to make ago, it taste terrible? Robots. Excuse me, Michelle. Is there gonna be like a Q and A with the boss man or boss woman of this place at the end of the tour? Probably not. At the end of this hall, we'll. Oh my God! Is he gonna like sneak into like the president's the office of this place or something like that? Be Ferdinand Sprat. Are you Ferdinand Sprat? As in Sprat Sweets? Yeah, you're talking to the last living Sprat. Okay. Who are you? My name's Gene. Oh, is this gonna be a case where, like, some new guy came in and changed it? Like, cause he, this guy looks kind of young. So what can I do for you? Your company changed Chunky Blast Offs and I really, really, really want you to change them back. Let's say by Monday at the latest. That's it? That's it. Done. Oh, wait, what? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, great. So it's done? Well, not done. It's gonna be like a whole thing. I don't know, they, they could just sell the original ones and be like, Chunky Blast of Classics or some shit. Like, companies have done that in Australia as well. So while we're stuck on the tour learning about how humidity affects nougat, sneaks <laughs> off and becomes yeah. BFFs with the founder's grandfather. Honestly, that's actually kind of insane. Like lots of humidity, you'd be wrong. Dead wrong. And we're all sure this guy is actually who he says he is? I mean, I'm just saying. considering he was in the office, I fucking hope so. He has to convince someone called the Board of Directors. So how is he going to do that? That's what Ferdy and I are going to figure out tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. wait, you're going yeah, back? Going back oh, after okay. We're on our plan. Really? Lynn, you're gonna take him there again? Yeah, he's fighting for I something mean, sure. Yeah, but it's, it's still, this is just over chocolate. Which is, like, it's not like it's anything incredibly important. How are we gonna get those suits upstairs? Just be like, oh yeah, sell the old question. ones as, oh, as hey, Chunky Blast of Classics. Cool and then that's literally more money you'll probably make. That's how you convince uh, these people. So I get to drive these more money. I want. They go up and down, back and forth. Okay. Whatever you're into. Yeah, cool. So, should we start coming up with ideas? I feel like... Yeah, I don't think this guy cares too much, to be honest. How's this for a urinal opener? Look what's coming out of the business end of that thing. Honestly, Gene seems more and then you speak fucking business. like, I like it. That's good. business minded right. in this situation. What this okay, th this guy really does? Much besides my great opening line. Yeah. They're like the know, president or whatever of this company. This, time, and so this guy's like, fucking lazy you know, as shit, Gene. Do it. And wow, you is he like Gene? He can start shit but can't finish it. You come up with your plan? Sorta. It seems like Ferdy doesn't really want to put in the work. Yeah, like, at all. honestly. Wow. It's weird to hear those words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> says we'll nail it I mean, at least maybe G will learn some sort of lesson from this, like, to actually, you know, take charge and finish shit. What? The deeps. It's what I call the deep part of the lake. Okay. Nine feet deep. Mm -hmm. That no is life, fairly no deep. No life. No sound. Man's alone with his thoughts down there, Bobby. Except okay. for some tad. How the fuck do you manage to swim that far down? Like... Uh, actually, it's not that it's not that far there that you're gonna drown or something. But like, like how do you stay underwater that long to be able to go down, collect the balls, and go back up? Call it quits. Right, team up. No. It be you and me. <laughs> no, not team up. Yeah, Honestly. On, One last score, and then we're done. We're okay, then. Set for life. Yeah, I mean, I uh, guess uh, so. Looking back. I don't think so. What do you want? But I doubt you're making that much money off fucking golf balls, and especially if you get caught. Gene's here. Again. Hey, Gene. Hey, Ferdy. Ready to brainstorm, perfect our PB pitch? Yeah, listen, I've been thinking. I'm not so sure the urinal plan is gonna work. I mean, yeah, no because shit. Because, like, why the fuck? Like, awkward. Yeah, you're, you're the pissing next to each other. Of course, I mean, that's awkward. He had a suit on, he had a penis, 
You look familiar. <laughs> okay, we'll come up with another plan. I don't know. Oh my god. Gene, you might as well just come up with the entire plan yourself at this fucking point. Hard to convince the board to change Chucky Blastoff's back. Wait, you're giving up? Not exactly. Okay. Wait, yes. Oh, exactly. right, never mind. Oscar Company betrays me and now you! <laughs> what is it with this place? Yeah. Maybe the next candy you make should be called Betrayal Brittle or something that has the word betrayal in it because you're all experts at betrayal. Betrayal, Max. You're the betrayer. What? Why? Why? Beatrice, who's betraying who? Sorry, what's going on? Yeah, she's not paying attention. She does not care. Tell her I'll be by the car and that I'm not crying at all. I do feel bad for Jade though. But like, I do find it funny that this is over just fucking chocolate. You gave me your best shot. I mean, yeah, Gene, he actually did. Than any of us thought you would. Yeah. He, for once, he didn't actually give up. Someone else gave up. You started this crazy candy ride. Now finish it. Hell yes. <laughs> wow. I love motivation. Yes. Speeches. Now I know what it must be like to play basketball. <laughs> You're gonna go into the board sure. room and convince them you're. I mean, how though? He's gonna have to like break in. No, the tour is just our cover. We'll peel off from the group and sneak. Jane I mean, considering how easy it was for James just to leave before, it, it makes sense. Into a board of and it's not that out of the order there. Yes, that will. this would work. Well, I guess they break into the golf course. Oh my god, why did I do this? <laughs> yeah, why did you agree to this? All right, light me up. Here you go. Wait, that's how he's breathing. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. You were okay. the first time. I know, but you were like down there for like just like yeah, five seconds. seconds. I was wondering how he's managed to go in, in the water for that long, because I was like, surely he doesn't have like scuba diving shit. Oh. Okay. I mean, breathing for her. Oh my god, never mind. That was a lot. Well, there goes a couple of them. We can be loud at this point. Hey, who's over there? Go, 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 go. <laughs> and then probably goes half the fucking balls, Jesus Christ. Oh my god! How fucking often does he get caught? But they're still your golf cart. Oh my god, are they even gonna have any of these golf balls left by the time they leave? Did you like did you have anything left? <laughs> I love how Linda's just perfectly fine with them breaking into this, like the executives. Okay, so where's this display we're gonna Trojan horse you in with? There's a room full of those dumb new chunky blastoffs. Okay. Right through here. Okay. Right, just... Okay, isn't that gonna look suspicious? A couple of kids taking uh, the fucking thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Separated from the super interesting factory tour. It happens. Come on, I'll get you back before you miss too much. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. Yeah, Just... you probably have to patrol. <laughs> oh, no. It's not... I mean, at least the security guard's nice. And it's not like being like, get the fuck away. What's happening? You gotta get to the boardroom. We'll meet. Is he just gonna fucking like sneak in when someone comes just, you know, stand still? Really was a blight on this fiscal quarter, <laughs> as you can see from that. <laughs> Surely Jade's just gonna get kicked straight out. Rocket coming in here. Uh, what's going on? Is it someone's birthday? <laughs> Gene? Give me a sec. What are you doing here? I you know, doing what you wouldn't Stop fucking do. Saying that you didn't have the guts to stay, so I'm gonna. I know he's just a little boy, but I'm calling 911. What? Okay, I feel like that's kind of overkill for uh, to call the cops on like an 11 year old. And we're all gonna listen. Okay. If I tune out a little, it's only because I know most of what he's about to say. <laughs> all right, fine. You've, you've got two minutes. Thanks, Birdie. Look, I really care about Chunky Blastoff. I mean, yeah, you clearly. You change them. And now they taste gross and the astronaut guy looks creepy. <laughs> I mean, it's the only change, just the sunglasses. But I mean, fair enough, thinking that looks creepy. So much to me. And now that they're gone, I feel like a part of me went with them. Are you trying to say a part of your childhood went away? Uh, uh yes. Oh, uh, I don't know. Hey, man, I was on a roll. <laughs> Just go along with that. The fucking old people will probably agree with that. But then it's like you gave up on us. And I know a little something about giving up. Until a few days ago, I was known as a chronic giver-upper. <laughs> Are you trying to say quitter? Yes. Please. I don't know how that word didn't come to me sooner. Come on, come on, just think back when you were a kid, before you were this. Honestly, Jane's actually doing surprisingly come good. On, you know the answer. A gosh darn it, Bart! Oh, good. What about you? Sprinkles, crackles. Go on, <laughs> dig in. Whoa. But how the hell did they get up here? The fact that this is actually kind of working is insane. But he is actually doing a decent job. My third. Hooray! You changed my opinion. Okay. 
Well, it looks like we'll be changing back to the original chunky blast offs after all. It's unanimous. Okay, well, shit, Gene. Honestly, even though this is something as stupid as chocolate, he actually, at least he did step up and do this. Sure, I can estimate that. It's going to be uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 million dollars. What? No, okay. I get it. No. Never. Okay, then. You well, great in there, Gene. You should feel proud. I mean, the fact that it's going to cost that much to change everything back is kind of insane. We've got like 20, 30,000 old formula chunks. Wait, what? Okay. You want them? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I feel good. Do you guys <laughs> Oh my god, is it like tongue sure, blue or mouth? Well, I mean, at least he's got all the months. old ones. I give it a month. I give it a week. <laughs> I will spend that week. Okay, don't sit in it. Surely that's just going to make it melt and or, and or break apart. Are you fucking kidding me? So the entire time that judge knew that it was him that did it, but still just decide, oh, yeah, let's just go on with this fake mock trial because it will teach the kids a lesson or whatever, which, I mean, I guess it did teach Louise, I guess. But, like, I mean, to be fair, though, she was actually pretty smart if being able to figure all this shit out. But, like... From virtually nothing. I genuinely for a second thought that it was going to be impossible to actually find out who did it. Because literally the only proof that guy had that it was Mr. Fron that took it was that it was in his bin. Like how did that guy know that it was his anyway? Like Mr. Fron could have literally brought one as well. For all he knew. No, but having like a fake trial thing at the school is interesting. I don't think I ever did anything like that. But it actually sounds somewhat interesting. I mean I would hate to be the person. Like the lawyer in, the, in this fucking mock trial thing. That would actually... Be annoying, to be honest. I mean, Louise did a good job at it. I mean, Jean wasn't too bad either. At least in the Snow White one. Which, speaking of that, why the fuck would they give them fake trial, like, fairy tale story stories? Stories for the fake trials. Like, of course, like, what the fuck is Louise meant to do? Oh, yes, the evil witch is not evil. That's just an unfortunate coincidence. Like, what? I mean, I guess it makes sense, though, because they're not going to give them actual, like, gruesome murder, mis like, murder cases and that, because... That would be kind of insane. I mean, I guess Mr. Frond and Louise got some sort of mutual respect for each other now. Probably not. Like, they're probably going to continue to dislike each other, which I can understand why Louise dislikes Frond, Mr. Frond, though, to be honest. Like, the past few episodes he's been in, he's kind of been annoying and, like, a, kind of been a prick. Like, especially in that hall, the hallway monitor episode back in, like, it's like season five, wasn't it? I think. It was either late season four, or like early to mid season five. I just realized I'm like halfway through the season already. And also the fucking B plot with that scam artist guy. Like I thought it was weird when I saw the hair was brown. I was like, who the fuck, whose hair would this possibly be? Like the only one that has brown hair is Mort. And it would be very hard for his hair to get into that guy's food unless it came off him and just floated in. Like that would be nearly impossible. Like especially since the burger is shut and not opened and being made. At the counter. Yeah, but the fact that they tried to get revenge on this guy by not paying him or whatever, but then they already prepaid it, so like they were pretty fucked anyway. Like they kind of fucked themselves over, even though they just decided, oh yeah, fuck it, you're performing the rest of this. Which I mean, I would hate to sit there and have to watch that as well. Like, and I thought it was weird as well when the guy was like, oh, there's a hair in the burger, and Bob was like, oh, here, here's your money back. Like the guy already ate the whole burger. Like, if he ate the entire burger and only just noticed, I'm sure he would have been fine. I mean, Bob was just being nice, though, to be honest, so it makes sense, but... I don't know, I don't really have much else to say, to be honest. That was a good episode, I enjoyed it. It was interesting seeing Louise and Mr. Fron have to, like, work together, kind of. It was funny, though, that she was just willing to be like, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Like, I don't care if you lose, Let's. I just want to get this over and done with. But, I mean, she is a lot... She is pretty nice, though, so it makes sense that she eventually changed her mind. Okay, that was actually quite interesting, though, seeing Gene actually, you know, take charge and voice his opinion on shit and not just give up like he does most of the time. Because any other time in the show, I swear he just goes along with what anyone else does. And, like, I've never really thought about the fact that, yeah, he does he seem to just give up a lot. But, I mean, I'm glad that, you know, he stood up for what he believed in, even though it's something as stupid as fucking chocolate. But... How, why the fuck is it going to cost them like 15 million dollars just to change everything back? Like I feel like that's kind of ridiculously expensive. Like what? I mean I guess it would be, it would cost a lot in terms of having to like buy new packaging and shit I guess. I don't know like I still don't understand how it's going to cost that much but I fucking hate when companies do do that though. I've known so many snacks and shit where they randomly came out years later and changed the formula. And it tasted horrible. But, I mean, at least with these companies, they came out later and bring the original ones back as, like, you know, as a separate thing being like, oh, yes, this snack, original version. Because, again, it's going to make the money and that's all these companies care about is fucking money. But, I mean, at least Gene did convince them for a bit to go back or whatever, even though it lasted, like, five seconds. Also, how fucking easy is it to just break into the, this company's, like, 
executive rooms and that. Gene managed to sneak off twice in this episode into either the, like, the president... I'm guessing the guy's the president of the company. I mean, he said his grandfather found it, so I'm guessing that he is. Like, he managed to sneak into there on the like at the start and then into the fucking board like executive meeting room or whatever it's called at the end and then there's a b plot with teddy and bob with the fucking golf balls like they do get a shit ton i was wondering how teddy was breathing in the water because because he would have had to been down there for a decent amount of time unless he's like diving in grabbing one going up breathing going back down and yeah so on and so on like, I thought that sounded, if, like, fucking insane. And I was like, no way he is, like, scuba diving equipment. But, of course, he's just breathing from a hose, which that sounds kind of dangerous to have, just have a hose in your mouth and breathing it in and out. Like, the fact that that worked is honestly quite surprising. And they, they did get a lot of golf balls, though, but, of course, they fucking lost them all trying to run away. Like, I, I would be surprised if they have any of those left. I mean, the fucking people that own the golf course would be happy because there'd be, like, hundreds of golf balls there that they could just take back. But, yeah, that was a good episode. I enjoyed that. Gene, honestly, was pretty, like, fucking persuasive and, like, his speech and that was pretty good at the end. Too bad that it was for nothing. I mean, I'm glad that Gene at least learned to finish things that he starts in this episode. I don't know how much he's going to continue on. Let's be real, he'll probably forget it by the next episode, but... I, do, I still find it hilarious, though, that this was all just for chocolate, but... I mean, at the end of the day, he at least he got, you know, a box of all the original chocolate that was left in the warehouse. I mean, I guess that was cool of that guy to give to him. I don't know, I'm going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.